Melissa from the Downtown Reno Library, and for today's craft, we will be making painted ladybug rocks. March 20th is the vernal equinox, also marking the first day of spring. We have such wonderful flowers and bugs in our area in springtime, and one of my favorites is the ladybug, a garden helper and also one of the cutest bugs out there, in my opinion. In some cultures, ladybugs are even thought to bring good luck, which certainly can't hurt. All right, let's get started. We will need a clean, dry rock, red, white, and um, black acrylic paint, two different sizes paint brushes. I've got more here just for time's sake, a pencil with a new eraser, a hair dryer, which is optional, but will help to speed up the process of your paint drying in between coats, and a clear sealant. You can use um, an outdoor sealant, which is great because it's UV and moisture resistant. I'm using traditional Mod Podge spray because that's what we have handy in the house today. All right, so for the first uh, part of our project, I'm gonna draw a line with the pencil. It's a, um, a V shape, kind of a curved V with the line down the middle. That will help me kind of keep my paint um, straight uh, where I wanna keep my paint, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I will paint the red First, okay, we would normally let that dry, then the black, and then a black line down the middle. All right, so I'm gonna start with my red paint, like I said. Yeah, I'm going to go for my black paint. All right, so this is gonna be dry after we use the hair dryer for a few minutes. Um, I would then add another coat of red until I got it to kind of the um, consistency that I want, where I don't really see any brush strokes or um, rock showing through like this one here, okay? So once that's dry, we are going to um, put a line down the middle that's going to give us separation for our wings and that's going to be in black okay so i use the very thin tipped brush okay i like to go you know a couple layers so you may need a second coat on the black you may not okay So I'm going to set this little guy aside and we'll pretend like it's dry. Okay. I don't want you guys to have to hear the hair dryer. So this is what it would look like dry. Okay. So we've got our little dry one here. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is our spots on the wings. What I like to use for that is the end of my thicker paintbrush. So I'm going to just dab this in the black paint. I do like to test it just to make sure. So that's a nice dot there. That's going to look really nice. Okay. There's no rhyme or reason to your dot pattern. However you like your dots to look. Okay. Okay. I feel like that's pretty good. Okay. Now we have our dots on our wings. All right, so the next thing we're going to work on is the eyes. Um, that's where the pencil comes in again. I, I've got a new pencil here because it's got a nice flat eraser on top. Um, yeah, so we're going to use the white paint for the eyes. Now, you're probably wondering why am I not using googly eyes? I love googly eyes. Love them. However, in this project, I feel like 
They're really hard to get to stick to the rocks. And then if your ladybug's going to live outside, they tend to fall off. Plus you're going to spray the sealant. So yeah, I would just go for paint in this case. Um, cause mine will be living outside in the garden. All right. So I'm going to test it here to make sure I don't have too much paint on there. Okay. Then I'm going to come over here. Do that. There's one eye. I kind of made it a little messy. You know, not the end of the world. I can always try and shape the eyes the same. Kind of make that one a little more elongated. You'll see some paint on there. Um, you can smooth it out with a brush. For time's sake, we're not going to do that. Okay. Um, all right. So now we've got eyes on our ladybug. You can see that. Okay, they're not perfect. They don't have to be. Um, all right. So we we would again bring in the hair dryer if you wanted to rush this part or let them air dry. The important thing with the eyes is to make sure that um, they definitely are dry because if we try and put the black dot in the eye for the pupil, um, it'll get kind of messy. Okay. All right. So we've got that on there, and um, I happen to have another ladybug here that the eyes are unfinished. So we're going to uh, put the pupils on next and I'm going to use the smaller uh, paintbrush here to put those dots on there. Okay. Um, okay. There's one and there's two. Okay. You'll see, I, I added a little smile to this one. Um, this one as well. I kind of experimented with the eyes on this one. If you can see, you can even go, uh, bigger on the pupils up to you totally up to you how you want to do it. I'm going to leave mine like this Okay, so um, what I would do is I would let these dry and then I would bring in the sealant um, Make sure you do this outside. This stuff is pretty stinky um, You know, we don't want you breathing in any of this stuff. Okay um, If you don't have any sealant, I have heard people use um, clear nail polish for their sealant so you know, maybe that would work. All right. So I would go outside and I would spray these. And what's nice is it gives the protection against the weather and the elements. And it also adds such a pretty shine if you can see that on the finals. Okay. There you have it. Um, an adorable ladybug to help usher in spring and also possibly bring good luck. Thank you so much for joining us on this crafternoon. For more crafty ideas and STEAM activities, find us on Facebook or visit us at our website, www.washoecountylibrary.us.